What's up guys, Yuri's here and welcome to another pro tip video here on my YouTube channel. In today's video we are going to relocate the Twinstar 1200 that is still kind of somewhere up there hanging uh, behind me on that wall to its new spot on the other wall where the 1200, my big aquarium, is standing so I can finally start working on it uh, and hopefully get ready for the IPLC 2020. But we're not going just to relocate the light. Uh, it's a pro tip video so you're expecting a little hack and here comes the hack. I got myself a little curtain rail. Uh, that one is from IKEA. What is the name? Vigda. That is a curtain rail. It is white. It is uh, yeah, simple, minimalistic. And that one is going to go on the ceiling uh, in between. Um, you know, those two yo yo uh, suspension mounts, by the way, if you want to check out how they work and why they're awesome, I will link a video for you up there. Another pro tip. So, we're going to put this one on the ceiling and then attach. Uh, those yo-yos and the light to the railings so I remain flexible because I don't know if I'm going to keep the Twinster 1200 long term or if I'm going to get a new light uh, or just to try out different lights because that's what it is about and you guys want me to test different lights and to be flexible so yeah without any further ado let's get started. I first had to take the light from the ceiling in its old position. To do so, I unscrewed the yo-yo hangers from ceiling mounts. Next, I pulled away the table and I did measurements on the aquarium to make sure it is centered in the niche between the wall and the kitchen countertop. Next, I measured on the curtain rail the middle and I made markings from left and right side, approximately 20 centimeters. This is where I wanted the curtain rail to be attached to the ceiling. Next, I measured with a laser pointer the middle of the aquarium to the ceiling. I applied markings to the ceiling for the middle of the aquarium, the distance from the back wall and by using the curtain rail I did markings on the left and the right uh, with the same distance from the wall. Then I pulled the aquarium away from the wall and drilled the holes. Then I attached the curtain rail to the ceiling and attached the twin light with the yo-yo hangers with the help of gliders to that curtain rail. And the good thing of using the curtain rail is I don't have to drill in the exact same position where the light is going to hang because I can slide left and right. Then I pulled down the light before I pushed back the aquarium to its original position. So guys, the job is done, the light is hanging, I'm super happy with the final result. That gives me now flexibility to swap out lights, try out new things uh, in this spot and who knows, when this tank gets changed maybe for something else, uh, I'm prepared for the future, no need to drill a myriad of holes and also I don't need the perfect position for the holes, just the right distance and if you want to try out, uh, I will put a link to the IKEA uh, for that item uh, in the description below, uh, but you can use literally any kind of uh, curtain rail. Uh, of your choice and by the way how do you like this Japanese bench I'm sitting on uh, just got this one today super love uh, with it if you want to know more about it uh, drop a comment down below and if you enjoyed watching this video give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet also hit that notification bell to get notified every time I upload a new video specifically on this 120 aquarium now that it is in place we are going to start working on it to get it ready in time for the IPLC contest. Again, once for watching guys, see you in the next one. Peace.